Good morning, St. Paul. Glad that you're joining us for worship and also for this baptism. I have the Fobers here, uh, Jason and Ellie and Colt, and, and they're here with Ruthie. And they're here to make covenants with God, also covenants with you and with their family that are here. Uh, baptism is, uh, is an outward sign of an inward grace where we make commitments to God and we ask for God's blessings upon us. And, and the covenant of, of baptism is a sealing of what we do and what God do and what God does. So they're here to present Ruthie to God and to you and to ask for your help in the raising of their child. Let us pray. O eternal God, your mighty acts of salvation have been made known through the water from the moving of your spirit upon the waters of creation to the deliverance of your people through the flood and through the Red Sea. In the fullness of time, you sent Jesus nurtured in the water of a womb baptized by John and anointed by your spirit. He called his disciples to share in the baptism of his death and resurrection and to make disciples of all nations. Pour out your Holy Spirit, bless the gift of water and those who receive it to wash away their sin and to clothe them in righteousness throughout all of their lives. That dying and being raised in Christ, that they may share in final victory through the same to the same Lord that we believe and pray in his name. Amen. So Jason and Ellie, I ask you on behalf of the whole church, do you renounce the spiritual forces of wickedness, reject the evil powers of this world and repent of your sin? If so, answer, I do. I do. And do you accept the freedom and the power God gives you to resist evil and justice and oppression, whatever forms they present themselves? If so, answer, I do. I do. I do. And do you confess Jesus Christ as your Savior, put your whole trust in His grace, and promise to serve Him as your Lord in union with the church which Christ has opened to people of all ages, nations, and races? If so, answer, I do. I do. And will you nurture Ruthie in Christ's holy church that by your teaching and example she may be guided to accept God's grace for herself, to profess her faith openly, and to lead a Christian life? If so, answer, I will. I will. <laughs> what, what name is given to this child? Jean Ruth Fober. Right. Jean Ruth Fober, I baptize you now in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. May God's grace and mercy rest upon you all the days of your life. Amen. I think she's still eyeing me on that one. <laughs> Now you have a part to play in this as well uh, as family members. Uh, what we ultimately hope and pray is that in what Ruthie sees in us, that she'll see a life that is lived in faith. And that'll be something that as she grows older that she will naturally uh, want and desire for herself. So will you now answer this? Do you renew your faith in God and place your whole trust in Jesus Christ as your Savior and place your whole trust in His grace for salvation? If so, answer, I do. And will you nurture Ruthie in faith by loving and caring for her? And will you do all in your power to increase her faith, confirm her hope, and perfect her in love? If so, answer, I will. Amen. And those that are watching at home, you have a part to play. But Ruthie, as you see her grow and develop inside the life of this congregation, we, we pray that God would use us uh, as witnesses of His grace and mercy. So I invite you now at home, do you renew your faith in God, place your trust in Jesus Christ as your Savior, and place your whole trust in His grace for salvation? If so, answer, I do. And will you nurture Ruthie in faith by loving and caring for her? And will you do all in your power to increase her faith, confirm her hope, and perfect her in love? If so, answer, I will. Let us pray. Oh God, as we, as we live as, as followers of Christ, what we pray, Lord, is uh, that you would use us in a way that our words and our actions uh, will be uh, a witness and a testimony of your grace and mercy. We, we pray that every time we're in front of Ruthie that she would see in us Christ living and that would be something that would be influential and that you would use us in the raising of her so that she, be, she continues in the, in the path of faith laid out uh, to her and, and for her by those who go before. Watch over us, O oh God, we pray, and we give thanks for all of this. In the name of Christ, amen.